actually define sexually transmitted disease? When one is infected with monkeypox virus, it takes between two, about two to 14 to 22 days to come down with the actual disease manifestations. It starts with fever, muscle aches, headache, lymph nose swelling, and of course, as the disease progresses, in the infected individual or individuals, you begin to see outward signs of the infection, which are characterized by what in medicine we call vesicular papules, or simply rashes or bumps, if I can put it simply in our Liberian like, palace. And those bumps are filled with some fluid, some liquid that we call pus, simply. Those bumps are larger if you want to compare that with other pox diseases. It's larger than what you have with the smallpox and chickenpox. And those rashes, you can find them all over the body and they are expressed on the extremities, meaning on the hands and the feet. So even if you wore your clothes, it's difficult to hide it. Not only being expressed in the hands, but specifically what we call plantar expression is what we see, meaning that they are in your palm. You see the bumps all in the palm. The ones in the palm is where the virus is highly concentrated. That is why when an infected person sits in a location, or sleeps on a, at, a, at a particular location on a bed, and you who are not infected, uh, you are much more vulnerable and liable to be infected because that place becomes contaminated. That is where we talked about you not being in contact with those kind of surfaces. Um, the virus itself is treatable. Uh, there are medications of different types we call antivirus. Anti means against the virus. And also, besides being treatable, the disease itself, which is mpox, is self-limited. In science and medicine, meaning some people can get sick with the virus, they will not take any tablet, they will not take any injection, none of those antivirals, and they still become pure. But we don't want you to rely on this, to so stay home in case you find yourselves with these symptoms that we listed earlier. Our different immune or defense systems in our bodies are not the same individually. So one person may have a higher ability to fight back the virus, another person may have a less or limited ability to fight back the virus. The best you can do when that happens, when you see those symptoms, uh, is to report yourself or report any family member to the nearest health clinic, or you can call 4455, which is the hotline, that is currently being activated yeah, since we have the situation on hand. In terms of prevention, avoid contact with infected persons or persons who you suspect to be infected. Uh, you should have very responsible sexual behavior. For you men, and we will say it very clearly, wear your condoms. Uh, that's one of the best, so far, preventive measures. Or at best, abstain. Um, also, there are vaccines available. You're laughing, but you're serious. 
Um, there are vaccines available, but these vaccines are not in high numbers. This particular disease, Mpox, is so far now all around the world. It is found in the United States, it is found in countries of Europe, it is found on other continents. So that tells you that everybody is fighting to get the vaccine. Given our own economic status, we, to a larger extent, depend on an entity called Gavi, which collects a lot of these vaccines from the manufacturers through the assistance of the very rich countries and some goodwill people and then divide these vaccines with countries that are unable to get the vaccines. And so through the WHO, these arrangements have been made to bring some vaccines into the country. Vaccine is one of the most uh, preventable element or me mental or means. Now, yesterday we reported to you the status of the Mpox infection in Liberia as an entity judiciarily responsible for public health in this country, it is incumbent upon us to be very open, very transparent, and very bold with you as to the status of what is obtaining. And to the best of our ability, I can vouch that we have been doing that. Currently, or before then, in the past, when I last uh, faced you here, that we had a previous five cases and an additional case which made it six. Now, all those cases, those six cases, were not active, meaning those six cases were suspected, they were confirmed out of many other cases that we got, but those particular six cases were the ones reported to be positive, but they were not active. All of those who had that uh, came down with the disease, all of them got healed. So we have zero mortality rate. That was before the announcement or the declaration by the World Health Organization and the Africa CDC of an outbreak of uh, the monkeypox virus, of Mpox, the disease, the disease it causes, and declaring it as a health situation of international concern. After that point, we had no more case. Then, suddenly, we began to activate our response system. What we did was to activate our response system, including the the Epidemiological Surveillance Group and the County Health Officers to be in readiness. Why did we do this? We have in Central Africa the Democratic Republic of Congo where we have most of the cases in the world. There are about almost 30 to 35,000 cases registered there with almost 2,000 deaths presently. These cases have been transmitted through cross-border transmission to the uh, other countries in the surrounding region, Uganda, Rwanda, 
Kenya, etc. When you come down to West Africa, in where we are located, Nigeria has the highest cases. Then, when you come to our bordering countries, we have agriculture with almost 33 cases just between July and the end of August. And we find ourselves just right next to the Africa coast. If you look at how Ebola entered this country, it came through cross-border transmission. Just in the last 24 hours, or within the last uh, eight hours, let's put it that way, the national alert from the public health entity in the Republic of Guinea. We were on the phone with the doctors and public health practitioners there today, having got the alert earlier last night that there is a seven-year-old who was confirmed positive. This seven-year-old is traveling with the mother and they are attempting to cross into Liberia. I will hold it right there and come back to that. On the Liberian side, immediately when this was declared as a public health situation of international concern, in the last four days, in Sino County, or in the last week, there were reports of quote unquote, um, which the National Public Health Institute refuted. And that was based on the science, the trend of the epidemiological surveys we did, and the clinical outcomes. Um, there were suspected cases in Sino County. It was reported that these five cases were, according to the media report, uh, an outbreak and positive. That was not the case. What actually happened is that our county health teams and public health teams suspected several persons to be infected with the monkeypox virus. Um, in total, there were eight persons suspected. That's in Sino County, in a region called uh, in the uh, region called Dedepo, uh, specifically in Dedwoken. This is a very difficult terrain to navigate because of the river, the distance going in there, and the environmental factors. They were able to go without an ambulance, took a car, the car stopped them a particular portion of the road. They took uh, motorbikes to continue because only motorbikes will navigate the rest of the way. They got to one of the uh, largest rivers in that area and then cross over using a canoe. And these are very dedicated, uh, hard-working public health practitioners uh, who are devoting their time to ensuring that we detect these cases. Just as you have detectives for criminals, we have disease detectives also, and that's what they do. Uh, generally, that's what we do. And they are on the front line. And what they came up with was there were eight persons suspected to have the monkeypox virus. Now, we like to be very careful with the terminologies that we use, and we said that yesterday, most of you who were not there. We have cases, and these cases are defined. 
as either probable case, uh, suspected case, and a confirmed case. So when you understand these terminologies, which we have the responsibility to do uh, as a pedagogic process to make you to understand, then you will appreciate uh, the work we are doing and you will appreciate your own reporting that you will be, to a larger extent, reporting almost accurately. And so, when just visually we see something that appears to be the definition of the disease and with the symptoms of fever, that is a case in this period or this era of impulse. Now, when we know that this person has several other symptoms, right? Fever, headache, and, and all the other things we talk about, it may not reach we said that person is a suspected case. So now you have suspicion on the person, right? Just as it is. Now we take samples like the scrapings and the fluid from the pores, uh, those, those rashes. We take blood and send them out to the laboratory. What do we want to do? It intends to give us an answer that will confirm what we are suspecting. So when the laboratory result comes back positive, there and then we say this is a confirmed case. And so when we apply that to these eight cases that we saw, which we suspected, that one of the cases who was a seven-year-old female had all the characteristics, both internal and external, of MPOX. And samples were taken and sent to the lab in Monrovia. We had two samples immediately sent while the rest of the samples were coming up. Out of those two samples, we found that one was positive. And so, with the previous cases that we had, which were six, right, which were resolved, no death, and now we add these two that we tested, that makes it a total of what? Eight cases in general. Out of those eight, one was confirmed. So those new cases that we have, those eight new cases, one was confirmed. So we have one confirmed case and seven suspected cases presently. Now, when that happens, we also follow and do contact tracing, meaning this person must have come in contact with other people, and that's how the virus spreads. They came in contact with the mother, the aunt, the father, and many other relatives. So we are following all those contacts to see their status. What we have gathered is that the mother has also begun to show symptoms of uh, the monkeypox viral infection. And may most likely, given our experience, uh, may most likely come down with mpox. So that is it for the sign of situation. The rest of the samples are on their way coming, and when those samples are tested, the results from them will be made available to you again at a subsequent press briefing, a regular one that we will be doing uh, during the course of this uh, disease that has uh, uh, captivated, is captivating the whole world now. Yes, from Ebola and COVID in order to be as proactive as we can. And that is what the National Public Health Institute has been doing since then. Um, we have been visiting all our border points. We went to the uh, entry points such as Freeport of Monrovia and the uh, RIA. We should be going to Bowater side 
we decided to also visit other points of entry, like those with Guinea and Agricoast, for example, and in a local tour. With the possibilities that provided us, we will visit <coughs> the Toe Town border, that is border in the Ivory Coast, and uh, and a border point in River G, as well as uh, Maryland. Now, you will note that, that this patient, who is now positive, never had any travel history, never travel outside of uh, Sino to either go Grand Cru or uh, River G or uh, those bordering counties. So the question in your mind will be, how could that have happened? Well, there are people who come in and out of uh, the Vero counties. And that's one possibility. It may have been transmitted in terms of that. So, um, we are continuing to strengthen our border points uh, in terms of our surveillance, and we are strengthening our response, which you are actively seeing with the cases that we have had and the present active case. Um, to, Tomorrow, we intend going to other border points in order to continue where we start. We have asked the WHO for diagnostic kits, and we do begin to work things out with our own in-house capability to uh, produce our laboratory uh, defined test for monkeypox so that we don't wait for kids to come to us before we begin to mount detection. So as it stands, uh, we are in a situation declared by the WHO and the Africa CDC as an outbreak uh, continentally. And we take it as such. Uh, we have the professional responsibility uh, both to our country, our government, and to our colleagues in the region to uh, make these explanations clear to you. I will stop this part and we entertain any question. Probably I may then address what I may not have said. So for thank you so much for watching. I was the voice of that of the Grace Nya, Director General of the National Public Health Institute of Liberia, the Grace. Thank you. Please do not ask four questions at a time. I will note down four questions at a time. Please don't talk. Yeah, I'm just sorry.